Good afternoon, this is Chris Brecher with the Chart Patterns Mastery slash Simpler Trading Free video for April 23rd, 2024. What's this about? Well, well, number one, it's about working off oversold conditions and trying to go to resistance. I put up this graphic as I'm going to have knee surgery May 3rd, and that's probably when the stuff hits the fan, which would correspond to this. Now, don't laugh. I This usually happens when I have like something when I'm not in front of the screen 24 hours a day. You'll probably work off this oversold MACD by going up here, back to the moving averages up here, and then you'll see the reversal pattern get nailed. Now, I'm only going to be gone one day, but sometimes that's all it takes. But that's what I'm watching in here. So, all of this, I'm going to take off all the drawings. And I'm looking at whether it's a daily or a four hour. I'm watching this breakdown. Remember, we called this horizontal line nearly horizontal. So we've called two different, really three different trend lines. We've called this one. We've called this one. And we've called this one. So the key is now what happens when it gets up to these usher upper echelons of resistance? Well, the first thing is you're starting on a four hour to get overbought. Does a four hour matter in a downtrend? The four hour MACD on the bottom. Well, let's go back and look. Now, when I'm talking about downtrend, even on a four hour, you could use the 50 moving average. You're going to see that when it gets overbought, after a plummet, like in this zone, yeah, you probably have a sell-off. How about in a real sell-off? Darn right, look at that. Overbought under the 50, but it kissed the 50. It also kissed resistance. Got to combine those chart patterns too. Just keep that in mind in here. How about way back? Way back. Yeah, guess what? You got overbought right here. And you kiss the 50 moving average. It's not a coincidence. So when you go back to this now, now this is a 50 on a four hour. Sometimes this works too because it reacts faster than a daily. So that would put this up here in a couple of days and this near that area, near that trend line. That's about 51.50 in this zone. Keep in mind that area right in there, about another 50 points on the S&P. And that to me would make the markets then oversold, overbought. Now, like I said, that might not happen till next week, but you have a lot of big earnings coming out. So the first thing I also wanted to show you is short-term charts and their development. So on an hourly chart, you see that this formed this. We were talking about the panic sell-off, which is what you got. The next thing you see in here is a number of stocks that have held up anyway, and they're having the inverse head and shoulders. So a sell-off, PANW could still go higher. Just keep that in mind. How about some other ones? NVIDIA. Well, NVIDIA is up tonight. It's up a little. This, to me, is going to be a big thing. Can this get back over this area of breakdown. Now, it could overshoot. Don't get me wrong. It could overshoot right to that area. No doubt about it. But then it'll be really overbought. Let's go to a daily. There, that gives you a better perspective. On the one hand, it's really oversold, as you see on the MACD on the bottom. On the other hand, it's just coming back to snap back the resistance. The key, though, if you're going to play a top is if it gets here, you have to find that reversal candle ultra short term. You don't see any of that yet. There's a, a break right here, followed by a bear flag. Yeah, those are a beautiful thing. But it's the consolidation you're looking for like there. So just keep that in the back of your mind. We're going to be watching that the next couple of days. Now, we have a lot of earnings coming out. I'll put this up here. I share this with our room all the time. There you go. There's a lot of earnings. You got Visa tonight, Tesla tonight, Texas Instruments. Guess what they all have in common? Yeah, they're all up. They're all up. So that's definitely going to help the sentiment on the NASDAQ on the opening. Texas Instruments is up. 
Not 10 bucks. Uh, Tesla's up a lot. Was up 10. Let's see now. Yeah, Tesla's up uh, 11. So what's the more of the story in there? You see tomorrow, Meta, IBM, Chipotle after the close. Those are in Lamb Research, ServiceNow, all these biggies. So to me, you're probably going to see a reversion, a reversion to unchanged tomorrow because there are just too many important ones. If you're wondering what I mean by unchanged, we broke even in Texas Instruments, but boy, did I jump the gun. Betting on it going back to unchanged, was there any place in here that looked that bad? Now, when I play short term, I like the ATR trailing stop. That's choppy. The only thing you could try to find in here is some defined trend line break. That's tough. That's almost impossible. Maybe here, but you hardly had any time left. And when it broke, it got above it. This was not cut and dry, but keep in mind the overall market went up. So basically tomorrow, I'm going to look for things to waffle down to a round unchanged into earnings. Uh, with the big earnings. That's how I'm going to play tomorrow. Have a great night. Take care. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Chris Brecher, and I'm Senior Managing Director of Stocks at Sippler Trading. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like our content, please leave us a like and a comment down below. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell notification icon so you never miss any of our great new content coming out. Good trading, and we'll see you at the next video. Take care.